Good morning, Woodstock. Today is Friday, March 5th. I'm Ryan Como. And I'm Brendan Ryder. And this is WTV7. They already know that. Oh, uh, my bad. Ryan, what is your favorite element? I like iron. Ryan, your chemistry is horrible. Well, I'm just out of my element, you know? Boo. Well, anyways, Silas made a video to see what your favorite elements are. Good morning, Woodstock. I'm Silas Bisbee, and today we went around asking you guys what your favorite element is. Let's get to it. Hydrogen and helium, and lithium, beryllium, boron carbon everywhere, nitrogen all through the air. Sebastian, what is your favorite element, and why? Water, because it's wet. But is water wet? I don't know. That's a good question. And oxygen, so you can breathe in four and four, you're pretty easy. Neon to light up the sun, sodium for salty zones. My name is Jeffrey Hacker, and my favorite element is calcium. Yeah, I guess it makes my bones strong. Um, Coach Wake, what's your favorite element and why? Favorite element? Hmm, gold. Why gold, Coach Wake? I put the gold on my locks. Because I got to have those curly locks down there, man. Your locks on your fro? Yeah. So you get your fro and you put your locks in there so you have a goldy lock fro fro. So like locks on the fro fro. Got to have the locks on the fro fro because you know why? Why is that, Coach Wake? Because everybody likes a fro fro. Everybody does indeed like a fro fro. Magnesium, and aluminum, and silicon, and moth, phosphorus, and sulfur, chlorine, then argon. Well, there you have it, Woodstock. Those are you guys' favorite elements. Till next week, WTP7, Silence Pisbee. Man, I feel as smart as Bill Nye now. Yeah, but you know who's not smart? Everyone who got exposed on Diana Atsi. <sighs> Today we will be exposing WTV7. Today on Diana Otzi, we will be exposing Ryan. He eats oranges with the shell. I don't know, y'all. Ah! You better stop. stop. Let's go. Come on, come Here, on. oranges with the shell. Yeah. Well, guys, that was it. Sorry. Do y'all remember the, the movie Mean Girls? Well, we got two Mean Girls here at Woodstock. Well, obviously, something's wrong with those girls, but they have been exposed. Exposed. Now, we have Jose. See, when you wake up in the morning, what do you eat? Breakfast, cereal, I don't know, toast, but hot Cheetos? Come on now, you can do better. Jose, what is wrong with you, Brad? <laughs> Somebody get this kid some breakfast, please. Exposed. This week's Diana Otzi, signing out. Starring Diana Hernandez. God, you guys, I was editing Diana Otzi and I spotted Diana Hernandez being a hypocrite. <laughs> Diana! Boy, did they cancel us. Yep, that was amazing. But you know who else is amazing? Girls basketball. Yeah, they smoked Newton on Tuesday in the Elite Eight. And now they'll be playing Brookwood today in the Final Four. We got to catch up with Coach T.L. and Bridget Upberg to talk to them about the awesome win on Tuesday. Big congratulations to Coach T.L. and the girls' varsity basketball team for their huge win over Newton on Tuesday, earning a spot in the Final Four. So, what does it mean to get such a big victory at home? That's history, so that's huge. Um, but I think just the emotion after the game, I, I definitely couldn't, couldn't hold it in. I, I wanted it, uh, the girls wanted it, and um, so it was fun. It was, uh, the, the, the environment was great. I mean, we had huge, huge student section. I think the best we've had all season. 
I think that played into it. It played into the energy and Honestly, it's just history. You make history. You got, you got to feel good about that. Can you tell us a little bit about the plan you had going into the game? Main thing is don't foul. <laughs> um, uh, we needed to contain their, their best two players, and so we did that um, with the, you know, kind of a junk defense. And uh, we, needed, we, we needed to rebound. And in the last couple of games, I think Bridget would agree that that's been a point of emphasis, boxing out and rebounding. And honestly, I look back at the film, and we did what we needed to do. So we boxed out. We got rebounds. We were on the floor. Uh, our big girl, uh, Casey Miller, played one of her best games of the entire season. She had a double-double last night, 23 points, 10 rebounds. And she did. She played out of her mind. And that's, that's, that's one of the things that I told, I told the girls, we got to get a little crazy yeah. um, to get, this, get the win, and, and they did just that. That was noticed. You guys had a big lead going into the fourth quarter. And take us through that quarter and what was the plan and like how are the emotions running? Uh, just have fun. And that's what we mainly did and just... I was excited because we were up by like 20 by then and it was just like we got that and I mean in my head I was like we already won this game so... In my head I was like let's finish it, make sure we put, it, put them away, put a stamp on it. Um, don't let them get back in there in any way. I mean, a tw for me, I'm, I'm coaching every possession. So I knew we were up by a lot, so that was um, that felt good. But at the same time, I finally got the phrase right, and I told them not to take their foot off the gas. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. So you guys are playing Brookwood on Friday. How are you guys preparing for that game? Uh, well, today we're going to watch film, which is what we typically do on a Wednesday after a game when we have a Friday game. So we're going to watch film um, and uh, look at what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and how we can make that work with what we do. Um, they're a good team. They, they're, I've already looked at some film. They're very good. They got good guards, but they're not very big. And our big girl is doing her thing right now, so that's going to be, be key to our, our game plan. Mm -hmm. Well, another congratulations to y'all. You guys are making history. You have the whole Wolverine Nation behind you. Good luck on Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck in tonight's game, ladies. Well, that's all we got for today. Yeah. Make it a great day, Woodstock.